Hello and welcome to Rao's Eyes Study Circle. We have two important announcements to make today. As you might have realized that the Hindu newspaper has not published the Delhi edition today and hence there is not going to be any DNS session. And the second important announcement is that the much awaited Prelims Compass 2020 magazine has been released. There are two ways to get this magazine. Now one of them is to order it online from Amazon and the link for the same has been provided in the description. Whereas the book is also available at various bookstores across Delhi and you can get it from there as well. Currently two such magazines for Compass 2020 are available. One of them is Polity and Governance whereas the second one is Science and Technology. Rest of the book shall become available within a period of 10 days from now. Now there are three important aspects of Prelims Compass 2020 which you should be aware of. Now the first one is that they cover a time frame from January 2019 to March 2020. And the second important aspect is that they are a mix of both current affairs as well as the static portion. And hence they will become very handy in helping you to revise the whole syllabus of prelims examination. And third special feature of prelims compass 2020 is that they contain a lot of questions. And while solving these questions, you can easily assess your improvement as well as performance as far as the prelims examination is concerned. So let us now understand these features with the help of compass dealing with Indian polity and governance. So the polity compass is divided into two parts. Now the section one deals with current affairs and related concepts. Whereas the section 2 deals with the important static aspects of politics and governance. So all the news articles important from the perspective of UPSC prelims examination have been segregated based on their constitutional provisions. So the first topic deals with the matters related to union and states. And for all those reasons for which the relationship between center and the states or among the states was in news in last one, one and a half years have been covered under this section. For example, revocation of special status of Jammu and Kashmir, then matters related to legislative councils. There are various states which have recommended the abolition of legislative councils, but at the same time, there are a lot of states which want to have a legislative councils and hence various issues related to creation and abolition of legislative councils become important from the perspective of prelims examination. Then recently government approved the merger of Dadra and Nagar Haveli with that of Daman and Diu. And hence it becomes important for us to cover various aspects of part one of the constitution of India because of this act. Let us now have a close look at one of the topics being covered under our polity prelims compass. So this is the first topic which was mentioned in our content page and that is the revocation of the special status of Jammu and Kashmir. So as you know that last year the government has revoked the special status of Jammu and Kashmir and hence it becomes important for us to cover various aspects. For example, what were the special provisions related to Jammu and Kashmir in the constitution of India that has been covered which basically deal with article 35a and article 370 and how these changes are going to affect not only the people of Jammu and Kashmir but also the people from all across the country and that has been given in the form of table by comparing the before and now situations. So similarly all other topics have been covered exhaustively by paying great attention to the relevance for UPSC examination various constitutional and legislative provisions as well as keeping in the mind the trends of past year questions. So this is as far as the current affairs section goes which is the section 1 of our prelims compass. Let's now move on to the section 2 which deals with the important static portion of polity section. So section 2 deals with the static portion of polity and very concisely it gives you most important portion which you should keep in mind before going into prelims examination. The same section also contains lists or appendices which you should memorize for the examination. For example, important amendments to the constitution of India, important articles as well as important supreme court judgments. There are only 25 to 30 of them which you should memorize to be able to answer a lot of questions in prelims examination. Now moving on 
as we discussed in the introduction that a special feature of prelims compass is that it contains a lot of questions and here at the end of the compass you will find a lot of questions which you should solve exhaustively to get a hold on the polity topic. Now this was a broad scheme of things for prelims compass related to Indian governance and polity section. Now this discussion was especially for polity compass but all the other compasses are based on same broad theme and categorizations. Finally, we hope that the kind of hard work which we have put in while designing prelims compass 2020 becomes helpful for you in clearing prelims examination. All the best.